I have this picture in my head of a delicious chocolate donut and what happened? So <sighs> You're amazing. You're amazing. flying today. Sun's out. It's gorgeous. It's a good day. This morning's task was to yet again try and patch our dinghy. This would be patch 2 or 3.0 on this puncture. Because it's right beside the seam, getting a good seal all around is proving to be nearly impossible. This? Oh yes, and one of our valves is also leaking. Oh, are they coming this way? A really cool thing about our time in Clipper Cove was that the Blue Angels were there for Fleet Week. They were doing amazing stunts all over San Francisco and inevitably right over our boat. That is so insane. Making this dinghy repair go a lot slower yeah. than me. Come on, Tiff, focus. Okay. <laughs> Lyndon has been in the kitchen for the last few hours. What do you have to show for yourself? Um. These? <laughs> I have this picture in my head of a delicious chocolate donut and what happened that was a question. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> Obviously the oil was too hot. Yeah. Thank so, you all. You got some good yeah, oil Yeah, you know there. I mean? A dozen donuts. We got about three that aren't <laughs> overcooked or undercooked. <laughs> and it only took me most of the day and a ton of ingredients. So... Win. Win. <laughs> Completely filled the boat with smoke. Yeah, I gotta get those hatches open. Aw, proud of you, babe. It's been a rough day for me. <laughs> the dinghy patch didn't work. Burnt the donuts, made a huge mess. But it's beautiful out, so. Yeah, good. Need a finer file. I have one. I have a pencil sharpener. You do? I told you I did. Oh. <laughs> Where's the pencil sharpener? Oh, you can use my makeup one in the one of my bags, sir. Now you tell me. It's a uh, pretty dark out, but look at this view that we have. Not too bad. It's so nice that it's so calm here. Uh, in the anchorage. We're not getting rocked by any swell, which is awesome. So, anyway. We are heading out of Clipper Cove today. We're gonna head back over to Sausalito. Um, Lyndon's had a bit of a migraine this morning, so we're taking it a bit easy. Leaving a little later, but still high tide in order to get out of the cove, so. It's been actually really nice here. We've taken a lot of days just really easy and it's been
been good. So we've got some good wind here, 12 knots, so we're gonna sail off anchor again. Hopefully it goes smooth. I'm sure it'll be okay, I hope. <laughs> we've discovered since being here in San Francisco Bay Area is that you don't want to be leaving afternoon because the wind picks up huge under the bridge um, but it was inevitable today because we had to leave at high tide One of my favorite sails, by far. Good. Yeah, we tacked around Angel Island. We went on the back side of it. Um, got to see a little bit more of the shoreline and we tacked up the channel. Um, it kind of felt like we were back in the Pacific Northwest, but it was really fun. <laughs> a lot of other boats in there too, so all just out having a good time. It's been a really nice day. How's your head? Well, we are blowing up our dinghy for the third or fourth time. And, oh. So we've redone this patch twice, and then we did some more patching on it yesterday. It still leaks. Both the side pontoons have now ruptured, so it's just one complete unit. And it's just such a piece of junk. What a waste of money. So, Sausalito has been wonderful, but one, we're tired of the city. It's, the city's wonderful for the amenities, but I'm done with it. Two, this anchorage is not terrible, but as close to terrible as can be. So rolly, so open. Every day it blows like 20 knots through here, which makes like the trips into town brutal. Three, our dinghy is just the worst thing in the world. I think it sits lower than the level of the water so that the water just like directly comes into the boat while you're driving. What's the sweet? Oh, oh, oh my goodness, I thought our bag of laundry ended up in the water. Oh my goodness, that would be the worst. What's the speed? What's the speed at? 24. Anyway, sorry. What? Why did you think laundry went Because I put it there and then I moved it back here. Anyways, I'm ready to move on. Change of pace. When it is done. Anyway. It is a little chilly this morning, but I think I think it'll warm up. The sun should be coming out. Um, so this this is something that's a big deal on the boat. Wait, what is it that wiggles that you noticed? The whole thing. Anyways, this is kind of loose. No, just relax. I am relaxed. Oh, like this. Just this whole thing. There might not be enough force, but when there's force, the whole this whole support 
um, host moves around. Uh, moves around. I only noticed I we checked it. I checked it when we hauled out in July, but I couldn't really see any movement. And then I went to check. There's a little bit of slack in the wheel, so I went to tighten up the cables. And this anchorage is so rolly that when I was down there looking at it, I was like, I think that's moving. So I checked oh, wow. it. It is, and it might have just come loose now from coming down and being in the heavier water. So anyways, I could just tighten up on those bolts and that would sort of probably remove it, but I'm gonna, we're not leaving for a couple days anyway, so I'm gonna take the time and put some plates in there. Put some plates so that we can really tighten it up and then add some more support for the shear loads. So. Cool. Hey Happy, what's going on? I just had to make a template for my... You're not nearly as excited as you were, so you have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was excited because I made this template uh, for the rudder. Obviously I can't take the rudder out, so it has to go around and I can't really measure. So I couldn't really make a good template, so I just sort of did some rough measurements and then made some educated guesses to make a template and I just went and test fit it and it fits perfectly, so. <laughs> You're amazing. You're amazing. So anyways, I'm gonna make, I've made this template, which I'm now gonna cut out of aluminum. And then because I can't drop the rudder out, I'm gonna make it in two pieces and then I'm gonna go double thick. So one piece will come apart one way the other piece will come apart the other way. They'll stack together. And then I'm gonna put some more bolts through the deck just to secure it from the shear loads. Um, Cause those holes are probably worn a little wider. And at one point, once we can drop the rudder, I can take all that out, fix up all those holes, and then it'll be perfect. But for the time being, this will be more than strong enough to. Boom, you're amazing. High five. So this is my workspace. <laughs> <laughs> you're in it. Our boat is a mess. Our clothes are still hanging because they're, it's taken them too long to dry. And we just got groceries, so I have to clean it up. I'm procrastinating. Yeah, you need to clean this boat up. Kidding. But seriously. <laughs> I'm just cutting out my template here out of aluminum. Yes. And it'd be nicer if I had stainless, but this will work fine. But I don't have a two inch hole saw, so all I did was chain drill the holes and then you can just stick your drill bit in and bust them off carefully. Do they actually have like a toothpick or something? No, I should have bought some today. Uh, to I'll get a bobby pin. Yeah, get a bobby pin. Okay. So I have finished up the rudder repair. Uh, it wasn't actually that hard, but it was just hard to get to. So now there's new backing plates, so everything can be fastened down nice and tight. And I added in some more bolts for more rigidity, so it uh, should be good to go. Everything's sealed up. So now I just gotta clean up the boat and finish prepping and then hopefully Sunday we'll head out. That's a funky looking ship. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you don't already know, Xanadu is up for sale. So if you're interested in purchasing her, um, there's a link in the description below. And give us an email, waldysailing at gmail.com. We'd really like for her to go to another adventuring uh, person. So if you want to come cruise the Sea of Cortez, um, now's your chance. Thanks for watching. And we want you guys to know that even though we are selling the boat, we still have tons of footage that will be coming out in weekly episodes. So if you do like our episodes, make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. Bye.